Hi everyone, I'm Argolfumpf, and today I'm playing Miss Clue, Peril in Pemberley. This is the third Miss Clue game. It's a mystery adventure game. It's a lot like the Nancy Drew series, if you've ever played those games. This one takes place in the world of Pride and Prejudice, the famous romance novel by Jane Austen. Let's get started with the mystery. I want to start off... Sheep! Sheep! Sheepy, sheepy, stuffed doll! Sheepy! Oh, it's so cute! Uh-oh, sheepy is gone. Aww. Always makes me so aware of my family history. It was raining outside today, so I spent most of my time amusing myself in the library. It truly is a work of many generations. Well, there, I found a journal which is over a hundred years old. It is inscribed Jane Darcy who was the sister of my many times over great-grandfather, William. If I remember right, she was supposed to be quite charming and also a bit mischievous. I can hardly wait to see what she was up to. Now, where did I put her journal? Oh, yes, here it is. This game will be following the adventures of the original, Jane Darcy. August 20th. Who knew when I started out this morning all of the adventures that it's lay in my go path? The last two weeks in London have been quite hectic, with Mother and I going to all our favorite dressmakers. The fashions this year are très jolie. Whew, très jolie fashion. Meetings, but still found time to take us out in the evening. Father's business will detain him a while longer, so Aunt Catherine and I decided to return early to Pemberley. The carriage was brought round early, and our trip yesterday was uneventful. Aunt Catherine, as always, dozed most of the trip, but her companion, Miss Allen, was as delightful as ever. We were up early and on the road to be sure of reaching Pemberley today. Miss Allen placed her keepsake locket in the hidden compartment of the carriage for safekeeping. That was the only thing we had of any significant value on this trip. The evening was coming on and... Oh! What's happening? Some bad, or is it the driver? I think it is something rather more serious. We should try to remain calm and hope for the best. Whoa! Attends! Make no move, Sardon, and no one has to die. N'est-ce pas? Monsieur Coachman, throw down your valuables. <gasps> Mon Dieu! Highwaymen! In the coach, fill this bag with your jewels. We are not traveling with anything of particular value. Oh, mais no, mademoiselle. There is a box. You will open the box, mais non, s'il vous plaît. Which box do you mean? Do not test my patience. I know of the concealed box in your coach. You will open it maintenant when I hand over the contents. You will not get away with this. It would be better for you to leave and take nothing. I will get away with whatever I please, mademoiselle, including this treasure. Allons, we have what we came for. Those ruffians. <laughs> what is our country coming to? It was all I had left for my family. Now, now, Miss Allen. Things will look better in the morning. James, get us home as quickly as possible. I can't imagine why James let those ruffians stop our courage. We'll be home soon, Miss Allen, and we'll help Cook bring you some of her special treats. You will feel better in no time. So that is the story of this game. We have been robbed by evil French highwaymen! Oh no! We need to solve the mystery, defeat those evil Frenchmen, and recover the valuable necklace. So much for an uneventful trip from London. I think there is far more to this robbery than one might suppose. Peril in Pemberley! A Jane Austen mystery! Note mystery not actually written by Jane Austen. <sighs> I guess I overslept after the events of yesterday. Yes, come in. Good morning, miss. Is this letter just a hype for you? And I thought I should bring it straight up. Thank you so much, Martha. Just leave it on the desk, please. This is Martha. She is my personal servant. Basically, she wakes me up in the morning, and, and that's about it. Is that all, miss? 
Yes, but please let Aunt Catherine know I will be down shortly. Thank you, Miss. Like, occasionally I have her get my horse, and occasionally she asks me what I want to eat for dinner, but mostly she just wakes me up and sheepy, 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 sheepy! Charming. Oh, isn't this such a charming picture of sheep? Oh, oh, and this one! Charming. It's so charming. It's a picture of sheep, and this is a picture of sheep, and that's a picture of sheep, and that's a picture of sheep. Why are all the pictures of sheep? Jane? I painted this last summer. It came out so pretty. Okay, Jane is a little obsessed with sheep. Uh, yeah. I love my pool duck. She's also obsessed with her pool duck. I love my pool duck. Isn't it wonderful? You can pull it and it goes quack! Yay! So here in the corner we have some archery equipment. We'll be using that to play archery. What else do we have here? We have uh, another picture of sheep, a uh, fireplace. Place for washing our hands if we ever need to. Uh, we also have this. It was so much fun quilting these, and they protect all my keepsakes stored beneath them. Oh cool, can I get the keepsakes? It was so much fun quilting can I, these. Can I get them? They protect all my keepsakes stored beneath them. Okay, it looks like this is just a quilting trunk and all we can do is look at it. Let's see, on this side of the room, this is how we go to sleep. I love my bed. It's too early for us to go to sleep right now, so we can just uh, forget about that here. This is a nice view of the outside area. This is a great place to sit, and so often you can see something interesting. She's basically saying you can sit here and spy on people if you want to. That's that's why she likes her window. It's great for spying on people. And this is our makeup table. Makeup table. I do think I need these. Oh, you don't need ribbons? Well, what about these? I do think I need these. What about the comb? I do think I need these. Okay, apparently Jane is just going for the bedhead look this morning. Uh, yeah, okay, if she really wants to. So let's see, this is a thing you can pull. If you ever want to get your servant, Martha, just pull on this and Martha will come running. And this is Jane's desk. This is always useful. We've got the French dictionary, we've got some letter stuff, and a sheep. I love my sheep. Yes, we know you love sheep, Jane. I love my sheep. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the letter, we got a letter. Hmm. So Kitty must have heard something about the highwaymen. I am quite keen to discover what she has learned. It's our friend Kitty. She works at an inn in Lambton, and she uh, wants to talk to us. So let, let's go and meet with her uh, as soon as we can. Let me see. I can I... I need to call my maid right now. Ah, oh, okay. Well, normally you can summon your maid uh, to get the horse, but not right now. Not right now. Let's just explore this area here at the start of the game. I remember when we first got these. Mama had seen them and thought they were so beautiful. And then Papa surprised her with them. He's always surprising her in the most thoughtful ways. Oh, isn't my dad wonderful? <laughs> so, um, I don't think it's been explained yet, but Jane is supposed to be the daughter of Elizabeth and Fitzwilliam, the two main characters in Pride and Prejudice. This is the family wing, I believe. This is where all the family members live. It's nice that we have a wing just for the family. So I presume one of these rooms is for Aunt Jane, one of these rooms is for Mom, one of these rooms is for Dad, one for Aunt Catherine. This is my Aunt Catherine's room. Yeah, this is Aunt Catherine's room. We have Jane's room, and her brother's room is right over here. This is my brother William's room. He's away at school. Okay, cool. And who's this final room for? The, the final room. Hmm, can I not zoom in on the final room? I guess I can't. Oh well. So also here on the top floor, we have the guest wing over on the other side. The only person in the guest wing right now is Clement. I remember that awful storm that hit during our masquerade ball. 
We had our guest wing stuffed to overflowing with guests who had to stay the night. It was total chaos, but still fun in a strange way. Mm -hmm. We don't have any guests right now, except for Clement. Occasionally we'll see that Miss Allen girl, but maybe she's staying in the family wing and not the guest wing. I think that's about enough for one video. In the next video, I will go downstairs, look at more of these crazy paintings. I mean, wow, this is a lot of paintings. Yeah, yeah, painting overload.